adding custom models to your Minecraft server. It is something that pretty much every single server owner wants to do at some point. But adding something like this to Minecraft, isn't that extremely hard? Well, no. Actually, it is really easy with the use of a plugin called Model Engine. And today I'm going to explain and show you exactly how it all works so that at the end of this video, you can add your own custom models to Minecraft. So if you could just smash that subscribe button, that, that would be awesome. I will be breaking it up in three steps. First of all, we actually need a model. Now, it doesn't matter if you create a model yourself or you just download it from a website site, but you need to make sure that you have a model. Now, after we got a model, we need to actually add it to Minecraft. This is done with the plugin Model Engine. The Model Engine has both a free and a paid version. And the only difference is that with the free version, you can only add six models. So if you just want to add a couple of models to your server, just go for the free one. Though, if you want custom models all across your server, you might just want to go for the premium version. But after we've added the models to Minecraft, we still need a plugin that can actually utilize these models. For example, Mythic Mobs, which is a plugin that allows you to create custom mobs in Minecraft, and those custom mobs can also use your custom models. Another example, which has nothing to do with mobs, is Phoenix Crates, and their crate plugin also supports Model Engine. They even sell some awesome crate models that you can add to Minecraft with Model Engine and then link to Phoenix Crates to get something like this. Now, if you're watching this video, you probably already have a use case for these models in mind. But if you don't, I'm just going to show you how to add a very basic mob using Mythic Mobs. So anyway, let's dive right into this shall we? So first up, we need a model. Now you can get a model from anywhere. I will be going for a model from Phoenix Plugins. They're a partner of my YouTube channel. I've been working with them for a big while now. And besides selling plugins, they also sell models. Now most of them are crate models, which wouldn't really work with Mythic Mobs, but they also sell an NPC pack. And this is the one I'm going to be downloading and using for this video. Now if you want to check out Phoenix Plugins or these models for yourself, there will of course be a link down below in the description and make sure to use code Kasasora at checkout for a 15% off your order, which will also support me along the way. But I'm simply going to download this NPC pack and this will provide you with a couple of files. Now, like you can see in this case, I already have model engine and mythic mob files. So that is really convenient. Though if the model you've downloaded doesn't come with mythic mob files, you might have to create a basic mythic mob file yourself. Let me know if you will be interested in a more in detail tutorial on Mythic Mobs, because I'm definitely looking into that. Okay, but we're gonna open the Model Engine folder. And in here, we will see five files. Now, of course, the names will be different for you, but they should have the .bb model extension. That is really important, because these are the type of models that Model Engine supports. So the model I'm gonna be using is the Samurai.bb model one. Okay, so now that we've got the model, it is time to install Model Engine and actually add the model to Minecraft. I will leave a link to Model Engine down below. Like I mentioned, Model Engine has a free and a paid version. The paid version is 19 USD, which is not a cheap plugin by any means. But if you only need six models, you can click on the download latest demo version over here, which will bring you to this page. So this plugin is basically the same, but you're only limited to six models, which is fine for me. So I'm going to go for this free one. Then what you want to do is go to your Minecraft server directory and drag the modelengine.jar file into your plugins folder. Then you simply want to reboot your Minecraft server. And after doing that, a brand new folder should be created. Inside of the plugins folder, there will now also be a model engine folder. And this is the content you should see inside of that model engine folder. Now the most important folder here is blueprints. And this is where you want to place in your models. Samurai.bb model has been uploaded. Now what you want to do is go back to your console and type Mac, which stands for model engine, and then reload. And this will, if you did everything correctly, import your model. But it will also zip a resource pack. So going back to the model engine folder inside of the plugins folder, you will see a resource pack.zip. And this resource pack you will need. If you don't have this resource pack applied on your client, you will not be able to see the models. So eventually, you of course want to turn this resource pack into a server resource pack. So that every single player that joins your server will automatically get this resource pack applied to them. Otherwise, they will just not see the model. If you want to know how to turn a regular resource pack into a server resource pack, I've actually made a video about that and I will leave it linked as a card on this video. But in my case, 
I'm just gonna download this file and I'm gonna put it in my local resource pack folder. So here it is. And I'm gonna put this resource pack inside. Now already, without doing anything with mythic mobs, we can summon in the samurai. So if I'm gonna do slash mech summon, and then I'm gonna summon my samurai and I'm gonna summon it in as what is a very basic Minecraft mob? I'm gonna do a pick. There we go. And then we press enter. You can see it looks awful. <laughs> Why does it look like that? Well, it looks like this if you don't have your resource pack applied. So let me fix that real quick. And there we go. There it is. The beautiful samurai model has been added. Now it might look like a samurai, but it is very much a pig. <laughs> that is so funny. But the model does already work. And model engine has done its thing. But of course, to get more use out of your model, you want to integrate it with another plugin. For example, Mythic Mobs. So now we've reached the part where everything is going to be up to you. Whatever you want to do with your custom model, it is all fine. It is all great. But probably one of the best things you can do is install Mythic Mobs and then add the model through that. Now, Mythic Mobs also has a free and paid version. So just go with the one that covers your needs. Then once again, drag the Mythic Mobs.jar file into your plugins folder, reboot your Minecraft server, then go to the Mythic Mobs folder that has been generated into your plugins folder, go to Mobs, and when you open the Mobs folder, you will see two mob files over here. We got Example Mobs and Vanilla Mobs. Now this is basically basically where the mythic mobs tutorial starts as you will now have to configure your own file for your own custom model now you can actually learn quite a lot by analyzing an already existing mythic mobs file that uses custom models so for example when i upload the samurai npc.yml file which came together with my model we can see that uh, this is what it looks like and here you can see the model specifications the model it will be applying is samurai now mythic mobs is a huge plugin with a a lot of different options but here on the mythic mobs wiki we can see that there's a tab called model engine and when we scroll down you can see the exact same lines that we also saw in the samurai npc.yml file but after creating your own custom mythic mobs file with the model you've added through model engine you will be able to spawn it so we can do that by just typing slash mm mobs then spawn and after that in my case it will be samurai npc we press enter and there it is Look at him. Hi. It will just be standing here, chilling. How are you doing? Can I damage you? I cannot. Oh, oh, that's pretty cool. Welcome, traveler. Seek the way of the sword. Absolutely awesome. And that is how you can add custom models to Minecraft using Model Engine. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you've not done so yet. You would really help me out by doing that. You actually would. Also, a huge shout out to my channel members for the incredible support. Thank you guys so much. And then I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs>